Hey everyone, I've got another uh, Digimon video for today. Um, it is going to be on Quartzmon today and the Rival Hunters. But first, in case you didn't see the uh, short I put out the other day, uh, well, we got some we got to address. Uh, again, for some weird reason, something to do with Yuamano has a mistake again. So, as you can see here, his start of your main phase effect, for some reason, instead of the proper effect, has it gives a 2 DP for a Digimon. Really, its effect should be gain one memory. My guess is they accidentally printed the effect of one of the hunters in this deck onto him instead of his gain one memory effect. Because there is another tamer in this Quartzmon deck that has the same effect. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's move on to Quartzmon. Okay, to start things off, we got the same four eggs as the Arrested Dramon deck. Uh, Monimon, with the inheritable effect of on deletion, if this did you want to save in its text, you draw one card. Nice and simple for these Hunter decks. Uh, well, since Quartzmon is a 7, let's leave him for the last of the Digimon. Uh, the main rookie for this stack, Psychmon, that can Digivolve for 0 on any level 2 with save in its text. Uh, on play, you may return one Digimon card with save in its text from under one of your tamers to your hand. On deletion, save, and Digicross, minus 2 with one Digimon with save in its text, so you can reduce its play cost 4 to 2. And it has the inheritable effect when attacking once per turn if this Digimon is saved in its text, draw one card. That's the same as Gumdramon, Arrestodramon, Superior Mode, and another purple Digimon in this deck. So that is it for Psychmon. Wait a minute. Hang on. The next level 4 is Drachmon. It has the same Digivolve for 0 on top of a level 2 with save in the text. On play, by revealing up to 3 Tamer cards in your hand and placing them at the bottom of your deck in any order, you draw 1 card for each placed. On deletion, save. And Digicross, 2, or minus 2, with 1 Digimon card with save in its text. Again, reducing its play cost of 4 to 2, and it has the inheritable effect of your turn while this Digimon is saving its text, it gets two extra, 2k extra DP. That's it for Drachmon. So those are the two main rookies for the rival hunters. Next up, we've got Ikakimon. The inheritable effect is when attacking. If this Digimon has saving its text, you give one of your opponent's Digimon minus... 2k DP, and has no effect of its own, and it digivolves for 0 on top of a level 2 with save in its text. Uh, Chuchumon, again, digivolve for 0 on a level 2 with save in its text. On deletion, save, and the inheritable effect of opponent's turn while this Digimon has save, it gains blocker. Alright, um, Yasumon, Digivolve for 2, on top of a level 3 with save in its text. On play and Digivolving, you may play one of the rival hunters, being Iru, Ren, or Ryoma, from your hand without paying the cost. On deletion, save, then place one Digimon card with save in its text under, from your trash under one of your tamers. And did you cross minus two with one Digimon card with saving its text? Your turn has the same as Drachmon. Uh, Apossumon Digivolve for two on top of a level three with saving its text. On playing Digivolving, you reveal the top three cards of your deck for one of the rival hunters, Iru, Ren, or Ryoma. Flip among them and then play them to your field without paying the cost and then place the rest at the bottom of your deck in any order on deletion save and then save another digimon with save in its text 
from your trash under one of your tamers, Digicross minus two with one Digimon was saving its text, and it has the same inheritable effect as Ikakimon. That's it for that. Uh, Dobermon, uh, Digivolve for two on top of a level three Digimon was saving its text, and its inheritable effect is Retaliation, meaning when this Digimon is deleted in a battle, delete the Digimon that it battled. Uh, we've got Clockmon again, Blocker on play. Reveal the top three cards of your deck, add up to two Digimon cards with different colors and save in their text among them to your hand. Place the rest at the bottom of your deck in any order on deletion save. It just goes under one of your tamers and does not have the rest of the effects as the Hunter Digimon. Then Inheritable Effect of your turn while well, this Digimon has save in its text. It gains jamming, meaning it can't be deleted in battles against security Digimon. Okay. Well, here's the main level 5 of this deck. This is Astamon. It can Digivolve for 3, or no, for 5 on top of a Psychmon, or for 3 on top of a yellow, green, or purple Digimon that's level 4 with save in its text. When Digivolving, you may play 1 level 4 or lower Digimon card with save in its text from under one of your tamers without paying the cost. Or, if this Digimon has four more Digivolution cards, it may Digivolve into a Quartzmon in your hand or under one of your tamers and reduce the Digivolution cost by three. And then it has the Inheritable of when attacking. If this Digimon has save in its text, you draw one card. Again, same as Psychmon, Gumdramon, Restridramon, all of them. The only purple that's part of this archetype that does not have that is Dobermon. Uh, the other level 5 of the deck that's not really all that important, honestly, is Chohakaimon. It digivolves through 3 on top of a level 4 with saving its text. When digivolving for every 2 cards in this Digimon's Digivolution cards, activate the following effect. One of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 3k DP for the turn. Your turn, when an opponent's Digimon is deleted by having 0 DP, you draw 1 card. And the inheritable effect is the same as possum as Opossumon and Ikakimon. So that's it for that. And of course, Quartzmon. It digivolves for nine on top of a level five with save in its text. And if you remember, Astamon can reduce that by three, making it six. When digivolving, suspend all other Digimon and all tamers. Then, for every two unsuspended Digimon and or Tamers, gain one memory, reducing the cost for this evolution even more. However, it does have alternatives for digging, Digivolving on top of a level, a green level 6 for 6, a black level 6 for 6, or a white level 6 for 6 as well. So, yeah, you know this guy's bad. <laughs> a play cost of 16. This guy's super evil unfortunately because he's actually um a good guy in the following up series of uh hunters which is ghost game he's a good guy in that version for i don't know because this guy was like the big super evil digimon to round up the uh cross wars series and then all turns effect other than this digimon all digimon and tamers don't unsuspend and again Arrestor Dramon has the effects that counters this guy, because you can use Arrestor Dramon to tuck him under one of the tamers, and he's unaffected by the all turns effect of Quartzmon, and, well, he's got one more effect. When attacking, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon or tamers, then trash the top card of your opponent's security stack for every five suspended Digimon and or tamers. That's crazy. So yeah, Quartzmon is pretty strong. Uh, the main tamer for this version of the deck is Ryoma Mogami. He was unfortunately manipulated by Quartzmon in the series into becoming his partner. Uh, start of your main phase. If this tamer has two or fewer cards under it, place one Digimon card with save in its text from your trash under this tamer. Your turn when one of your Digimon would Digivolve into a Digimon card with save in its text. By suspending this tamer and placing one card from under one of your tamers as the bottom Digivolution card of that Digimon, 
reduce the digivolution cost by one, and with all other tamers, security, play this card without paying the cost. And we got four Riomas. Uh, we got, this is Rentobari. This was the one who had his effects mixed up with you. However, for some reason, they got the effects on him correct. Uh, anyway, start of your main phase by placing one Digimon card with saving its text from your hand under this tamer. One of your Digimon gets 2 KDP for the turn. Same uh, secondary effect as Ryoma, which I like to call the Hunter effect. Uh, the third tamer for the rival Hunters is Iru Suzaki. Start your, main, start your main phase by placing one Digimon card with save in its text under this tamer, yada, yada, yada. The unique effect for that is one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 2k DP for the turn, essentially the opposite of Ren. And again, she has the same hunter effect as all of the uh, hunter tamers. Uh, the final tamer is once again Watchmaker slash Bagramon. We got two of this on play. Reveal the top three cards of your deck. Add one Digimon card with save in its text and one card with hunter in its traits among them to your hand. Place the rest at the bottom of your deck in any order. Main if you have four more tamers in play, by suspending this Digimon, one of your Digimon with saving in its text gets a security attack plus one. Uh, yeah, again, in the series, Bagramon, for the uh, first half of the Hunter series, was the bad guy of that one. And in the uh, Young Hunter, young Hunter's arc is now the good guy, actually. Which is kind of weird. Because apparently in between seasons, well, after he was defeated, he was somehow reborn as an old man in the human world. I don't really get how that works, but hey, it happened. Uh, the final card of the deck is Jiped Particle Cannon. I think that's how it is. Uh, well, you have a tamer with Hunter and its traits in play. You may use this card without meeting the color requirements. Main, suspend all of your opponent's Digimon and Tamers. Your opponent's cards don't unsuspend during their next unsuspend phase. And security, suspend all of your opponent's Digimon and Tamers. A pretty crazy card that, who knows, might see some play outside of this. Um, its cost 10 is pretty steep, but that is a pretty good effect. Uh, so yeah, that is it for the Quartzmon deck. It's um pretty good. Again, a lot of people combine the Arrestor version and the Quartz version, but I decided to keep them separate since show-wise that's kind of how it was. I mean, the Rival and Young Hunters were together until... Quartz Mon kind of revealed himself. Uh, although it was really only Ryoma who was manipulated by uh, Quartz Mon. Yeah, so uh, I don't know why they uh, kind of had all of the rival hunters wrapped up in this version of the deck, but hey, it works. And uh, yeah, that's it for Quartz Mon, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And Again, had to bring this up again, unfortunately, since that is a pretty major error.